Hello, nerds and normal people. Uh, welcome to the Hot Take Symposium here at the Museum of Pop Culture, where we explore some of your hottest takes. Thank you for your patience as we got started here. We're so excited to see you all virtually in the zoom.com. Uh, and we're going to get started right here, right now. Uh, Mopop, as you know, is a place for nerds to you know, nerd out and live their fantasies uh, and be appreciated for that. And so this Hot Take Symposium is kind of the perfect platform for just exactly that. We have some very hot, very, very spicy takes, but you know what I always say? Spicy going in, spicy coming out. So make sure you've got your bidet handy for this. Uh, and you know, through the course of the night, you'll notice that some people have some very, very spicy hot takes and we can disagree, but at the end of the day, this is just a place for us to have fun and uh, be little dinguses. And it's a safe space for y'all to be radically vulnerable uh, about your dumbest hot takes. So we are going to respect the passion and respect that some people have maybe different takes than others. Uh, if you do not know me yet, my name is Eucalyptic. I am a local drag queen here in Seattle. Uh, and it takes a lot of money to look this cheap. So uh, if you like my jokes, feel free to Venmo me. My handle is at Eucalyptic. That's my Instagram as well. Uh, and if you hate my jokes, feel free to Venmo me. My handle is at Eucalyptic. Uh, and if you Venmo me enough, I may never get booked again. So that could be fun for you. Uh, and here's how it's going to go down tonight. Uh, there's going to be three hot takes presentations. Uh, the first one is going to be a pop X talk. Uh, the second one will be a debate club. And then the third one will be a PowerPoint party, all filling us in on what truly matters to our present. Uh, presenters. Uh, first, we have Jane Don't, who is a world-renowned sexy lady, whale hater, local drag queen, and most importantly, my sister. She'll be telling us about her hatred for giant whale babies in her Pop X talk titled, Whale Actually. Good old, uh, and then we'll have a good old fashioned debate on survivalist television shows with some uh, surprisingly overqualified guest debaters. And then uh, Casey will host our PowerPoint party, I Will Survive, uh, where she will be taking a look at some of her uh, favorite slasher films and pondering how she would fare in them. Uh, would she survive a night with Freddy Krueger? What about camp at Crystal Lake? We will find out all that and more in just a little bit. And then we'll save some time at the end, of course, for you all to ask questions of our presenters. So make sure you take notes all night. Uh, first off, we have my good sister, Jane Don't. Jane Don't is a world famous underground superstar and professor emeritus at Don't TT Technical Institute, a for profit online college started by Dr. Don't and run out of her studio apartment. Dr. Don't received her undergraduate degree in comparative playlist making from the University of Mind Your Business, Denise. And she wrote her doctoral thesis on the socioeconomic effects of having too perfect an ass. Dr. Don't resides in the big city, baby, where she performs, goes dancing at all the hottest clubs, has cocktails with the girls, and she, like, grades papers or whatever it is that nerds do. Uh, she's a Libra with a Pythagorean moon, and her favorite color is vodka. Before we check in with Jane Don't, we have a gorgeous, glamorous woman out in the field reporting on what matters most here at Mopop. Let's take it to her. Hello there. Please excuse my heaving journalistic bosoms. I happen to be watching a film. It's one of my favorite sexy yet approachable pastime. Sometimes the only way to survive is to escape to the movies. You know, nothing beats the magic of kicking back, clicking the clicker, turning up the volume to drown out your lover's snoring, and watching a beautiful film. You know, I happen to be watching one of my favorite films, Free Willy. Ugh, it's a timeless tale of love friendship, and the evils of unregulated commercial animal captivity. My favorite part is when the whale vows revenge on the man who killed his wife in a drug dispute and decides to turn in his badge and take the law into his own fins, but set to an original Michael Jackson ballad. <laughs> but let's be honest, here at the Hot Takes Symposium, you can't expect us to be of one mind about anything, especially whales. And that's why I've asked my good and very hot friend, Jane Don't, to explain to us why she loathes those hunky little ocean babies. Jane, take it away.
friends, hot takes, symposium attendees, distinguished three people in the room. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, I, I think of this less as a, a presentation and more of a truth-telling event. Uh, in my uh, presentation that I like to call Whale, actually, subtitled Blowholes and My abstract, for years, media conglomerates and the United States government have bent themselves to one of the greatest propaganda efforts ever undertaken. Convincing the public that whales are gentle giants and not enormous war machines with the capacity for wanton destruction who should be illegal. That's right. Sorry to all of you maritime lovers out there, but today we're taking on one of the physically largest problems in our society, whales. Whales, <laughs> what's the problem, you might ask? Well, primarily, they are simply too big. Prioritizing human survival means things should not be that big. I'm actually in favor of downsizing buses, trains, and planes, but let's first start with uh, the sentient men menace in our midst. Also, being that big is bound to do something to your brain, a potential god complex. Imagine you were that big. Would you care about you? I think not. I think about whales like I think about straight men. I know intellectually there must be good ones, but I don't want to swim with any of them. They also live underwater. <laughs> What's going on down there? Have you been underwater? I haven't. They're not trustworthy. They speak an organized language. They've even been uh, recorded holding ceremonies that look like funerals. And uh, they might be talking about me. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. And that freaks me out. They have a complex, unique, and organized culture. <laughs> Exclusionary, uh, I'm not invited. Uh, and again, toxic behaviors. They also are big and could tip over a boat with me on it. They have big mouths, self-explanatory, and they have lungs, but they live underwater, which feels like mixed messages. Um, please direct your attention uh, to this graphic that I uh, downloaded somewhat illegally, I believe, on the internet that shows a whale size relative to other things that are very large. You'll see that they, a, a blue whale is the size of three buses <laughs> out of line. Uh, they're also larger than a, a, a triceratops, which feels less, less vital, uh, certainly larger than a person, and even bigger than a tank. Hmm, interesting, which means our defenses against them are limited. Now let's talk about the ways in which I believe that uh, the media at large has sought to create the image of whales as gentle giants to distract from their menacing size in a section I call propaganda with a porpoise. I, I'm, I'm not sure that porpoises are whales, but the pun worked. First, let's talk about perhaps the most iconic whale film of all time. And actually, in, my, in the course of my research, it turned out one of the only whale films of all time. Free Willy. You know it. You love it. Michael Jackson wrote an original song for it. It's the stirring story of the friendship between a juvenile delinquent and a captive orca. The orca uh, is presented as a sympathetic character. We are supposed to... Uh, ally ourselves with Willie. He's trapped in a glass case of emotion, much like we all are in late capitalism. And yet, throughout the film, Willie displays aggression, violence even. There's a scene where he breaks open his tank. And yet, the violence is never discussed. Why would, uh, why would we not talk about the fact that Willie is far too big? No info about why he needs to be free. <laughs> Why don't we talk about that? Everyone wants to talk about freeing Willie, but no one wants to ask why. What are his motives? Again, I cannot speak whale. I don't understand what he's doing. I do not trust men, including male animals. No, I'm sorry, but for me, this film is a big no. Propaganda through and through. On to our next example. Blackfish, subtitled, we get it, whales are sad. Um, 
I would like to say that in the course of my research, again, there are not a lot of whale films. And unfortunately, these two really are the only um, sort of popular examples I could find. Blackfish is, of course, a very a hit documentary detailing the abuses orca whales experience in captivity at uh, theme parks like SeaWorld. And unfortunately, this movie is actually, it's really sad and I do not have a way to make it funny. And a fun anecdote is that I watched this movie with a guy that I was dating in college and then he kind of made fun of me because I cried during it. And then later I got really drunk on Jose Cuervo at his house and broke his dining room table in half while dancing on it. That's all I got for you. What now, cow, parenthetical, female whale? In summation, whales are too big. Whales have ulterior motives. And I believe that the solution is to make whales illegal. I understand. Look, we're, we're in a post-2020 world, and that approach is carceral. But I think it's the beginning of a conversation. I think that we need to come together and have a sort of restorative justice process with whales. But until such time, we should use the tools at our disposal and make them illegal. Uh, and if you are still a pro-whale person, consider making things illegal often makes them cooler. Alternately, we could ask whales to go away, uh, even nicely. I, 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 again, I don't speak whale, but I believe we have the technology to ask them that question. Thank you so much. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you for having me, Mopop, and thank you all of there uh, out there watching. Please DM me on Instagram at, at Jane Don't with all of your whale theories. I would love to hear them. Thank you so much.